Hello everyone, welcome back to Comment Made Easy and I hope you all are doing very well. Before we begin, let me remind my dear students that the contents of this channel are only to supplement your knowledge, not to replace the regular online and offline classes in your institution. So please attend your classes and do not miss them. Also, if you like our contents, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like the videos and share these videos with your friends, with your batchmates, with your juniors. Also, if you are a teacher, then with your students. Please follow our Facebook page and the link will be given in the description. Today, we are going to talk about two health indicators that is PQLI and HDI. These two are very commonly asked short notes in the theory exam. So I believe this video will also be very helpful or beneficial to the students. Let us start with PQLI. PQLI stands for Physical Quality of Life Index. We know this is very difficult to define what quality of life is and it is even more difficult to measure it. So PQLI can be said uh, it is an attempt to measure the quality of life or even well-being of a country. Now PQLI is an index as the name suggests, P physical quality of life index and the index consolidates three different indicators. What are the three indicators? Infant mortality, life expectancy at age one, that means one year and literacy. So for each component, the performance of individual countries is placed on a scale of zero to hundred. Zero representing the worst possible performance and hundred representing the best possible performance. So if the infant mortality of a country is very low, then the country is expected to have a score somewhat close to 100, maybe 90, 95, something like that. Uh, compared to another country where the score will be low if the infant mortality is very high. Like this, for three different components, we can have three different scores uh, ranging from 0 to 100. Next, what we do is we calculate the PQLI by taking the average or mean value of these three indicators. So for these three indicators, we have three different values. We take the mean or average value and that is the PQLI score of that particular country. Of course, because of this, the PQLI value will also be in between 0 to 100. So this is uh, a line diagram. The value have been taken from uh, humanprogress.org. This is the PQLI score of India from 1980 to 2010. I did not find any data after 2010. So this is the only available data uh, for me at least. As you can see, we started at a score of 44.01. This is the composite PQLI score. So we had somewhat around 44 score in the year 1980. And in the year 2010, the score increased to 66.12. So 22 point uh, there is increase. If we're talking about the rank uh, as a country, India was in 101 position in 1980. And there, uh, the lower uh, rank obviously means that the uh, better performance. So the lowest we have had was uh, here 94 for a few years. We also had 95, 96 like this. And the worst was 103. This is probably 1991. You can see over the span of 30 years, we moved from 101 to 100. So only one rank improvement. And in between also there was some uh, rises and fall. Now, even though we have uh, 22 points increased in PQLI score, but the rank only improved by only uh, one value, that means only one rank improvement, that shows that the other countries are also doing better. Uh, that is why even though we had 22 point rise, uh, we had only one point of improvement in terms of rank. So this is about PQLI. Now, these three metrics that we already mentioned, the uh, life expectancy at age one, infant mortality, and the literacy, they all accurately reflect the country's population well-being. So they, they, these indicators give us some idea about the well-being of the country. Now you can uh, notice that the PQLI does not consider the GNP, gross national product, into consideration. So uh, that means money is not everything. So we did not include the financial component into the calculation of PQLI. So uh, it does not mean that if 
a country has a lot of money that means they also have a very good quality of life it is not always so and uh, based on the pqli scores as also on the ranks we can compare between nations and those countries which are impoverished uh, can take the remedial action accordingly so this is all about pqli we need to understand what is pqli the full form what are the different three indicators which are considered and how the scoring is done then we take the average score to get the pqli score and based on that we can uh, get the rank of the country or score of the pqli score of the country and we can also compare between countries so this is pqli next moving on to hdi that stands for human development index this is defined as a composite index focusing on three basic dimensions of human development so as the name suggests we are focusing on the human development there are a lot of things that we can consider uh, to uh, evaluate the human development but for hdi we consider only three things number one to lead a long and healthy life that is measured by life expectancy at birth the ability to acquire knowledge which is measured by two indicators that is the mean years of schooling and the expected years of schooling and number three is the ability to achieve a decent standard of living that is measured by gross national income per capita in purchase per parity in us dollar so uh, the concept of hdi uh, reflects achievement in the most basic human capabilities what are those number one uh, ability to lead a long life uh, being knowledgeable and also enjoying a decent standard of living hence all these three variables have been chosen to represent these dimensions so we have these three dimensions long and healthy life knowledge and decent standard of living then we have some indicators for these individual dimensions long and healthy life the indicator is life expectancy at birth now remember uh, since I just discussed PQLI a few minutes back, I have seen students making this mistake. Uh, in PQLI, we have life expectancy at age 1, that means at age 1 year. But here in HDI, we have life expectancy at birth. So please do not make this mistake, that will deduct number. Then the next dimension is knowledge and the indicators are expected years of schooling, mean years of schooling. And decent standard of living, the indicator is gross national income per capita in purchase per parity us dollar then we also have the dimension index the life expectancy index the education index and the gni or gross national income index this uh, diagram is or flowchart is same as that you will find uh, in the book of park so we have three dimensions long and healthy life knowledge and standard of living then we have the indicators uh, which are the uh, life expectancy at birth uh, which gives us the life expectancy index we have mean years of schooling and expected years of schooling giving us the education index and also gross national income per capita in purchasing power parity us dollar that gives us the gni index and considering these three indices together we get the hdi now let us learn how the uh, hdi is calculated and there are two steps the first step is to create the dimension indices so we have these three dimensions and for each of them we have the three different index we have to calculate the indices individually uh, first we need to know the minimum and maximum value so that we can transform the indicator uh, into a score ranging from 0 to 1 the maximum or the highest observed value in the time series so in a given period of time maybe a decade uh, what is the possible highest value and also what is the uh, lowest possible value that has to be known and uh, there is also a given value for a particular country now so after defining the minimum and maximum value the sub indices are calculated as follows so the dimension index for example uh, life expectancy index we calculate by the actual value so what is the life expectancy of that particular country what is the minimum possible value or minimum acceptable value what is the maximum value what is the minimum value so all these values are needed actual minus minimum divided by maximum minus minimum that will give us a particular number in decimal 
or at least ranging between 0 to 1. That is the score for that particular dimension. And like this, we can also calculate the scores for individual dimension like expectancy, uh, education index as well as GNI index. Remember for education, since we have two different indicators, that is the mean years of schooling as well as expected years of schooling. What we do is we take the geometric mean of that uh, two indicators. So we multiply the scores, then uh, take the square root. After calculating the individual dimension score ranging from 0 to 1, we can calculate the HDI value of that country. This is done by multiplying these three indicator values, then taking the cube root. Same thing is given in this box. Development index or HDI is equal to cube root of the product of life expectancy index, education index and income index. So let me repeat again. We can calculate the uh, individual dimension index. How we can do that? We need to know the maximum value and the minimum value and the observed or actual value of that particular country. Then we get the dimension index for that particular dimension by this formula, actual value minus minimum value, maximum value minus minimum value. And this value will be ranging in between 0 to 1. After calculating the three dimension index, we can use this formula where we multiply all these values and then take the cube root that will give us the HDI value. And one thing I skipped for education, we are, we are going to take the uh, square of these two values and then take the cube root. So basically the geometric mean. So this will give you the HDI. After we have calculated the HDI, which obviously ranges from 0 to 1, we can compare between countries. That means which country is doing well, which country is doing poor in terms of HDI or human development, etc. Uh, for example, countries having high score, maybe 0 0.95, 0 0.96, uh, are close to almost perfect values and they are doing really well whereas countries having maybe 0 0.2 0 0.3 values are not doing so well so that is why hdi is also a platform or you can say uh, an estimate to compare between uh, the countries in terms of human development okay so uh, let us look at some of the data it says that india ranks 132 out of 191 countries if you look at this table in the uh, bottom of this table, we have uh, India in the rank 132 with a score of 0 0.633. Let us come to the top of the table. We have Switzerland, Norway and Iceland and their score ranges from 0 0.962 to 0 0.959. So only a matter of 0 0.003 values and we have uh, three best performing countries in the world in terms of human development. And basically, uh, if you continue this uh, table till the last rank, you will find that uh, in the 191 position, we have South Sudan with a value of 0 0.385. So very low here. And let us look at this particular diagram. This is the uh, map of the whole world with different countries. The darker the color a country has, uh, it means the better uh, this country is performing in terms of human development. So Australia, New Zealand, European countries, Japan, uh, this is North American, uh, Canada. Uh, here also we have the Argentina and Chile, I guess. Uh, Arab or Arab, I guess. Uh, these countries are doing really well and because they're very dark colored. This is India, which uh, this color ranges somewhere around here. So we are in the middle tier and many countries in the African nation are not doing very well so that is why they are very much light colored and the source is worldpopulationreview.com you can go to this site yourself and check it for yourself so with this uh, we also complete the hdi uh, just to revise uh, we have three different dimensions the long and healthy life knowledge and standard of living and for each dimension we have three different indicators and for them we can also calculate the dimension index these values are calculated by considering the minimum value, the maximum value, as well as the actual value for that particular country. This is the formula that is used. After finding the values, uh, we take the uh, 
geometric mean that is that means the multiplication of this three value and then cube root it to find the hda value hda can be used to compare between countries in terms of uh, human development performance and india is in 132nd position and that's all thank you if you like the video please subscribe to our channel and share this video with your batchmates juniors and friends we also have our facebook page that you can follow the link is given in the description take care and we shall see you in our next video